Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Our friend Captain Josh Tigan found a new way to catch lake trout on Lake Superior. This is a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, Holy crazy. Oh my God. It's a huge fish. It's a huge fish. This is amazing. How do you guys? Oh my awesome. gosh. Yes, folks, we're on Lake Superior off of Bayfield, and this is absolutely one of the most beautiful places in the United States. We're in the middle of the Apostle Islands, which I guess is about eight or 10 miles off of Bayfield. And, and Josh, when you bring folks out here, it's just a gorgeous place to come, isn't it? Oh, it is. You got so much scenery, you got all the islands, you got cliffs, the water's crystal clear, and there's a lot of fish. And August is a great time to come here, and uh, we're gonna be targeting lake trout today. Yep, we're gonna be fishing lakers and anywhere from about 150 out to maybe even 200 feet of water. Well, when you think about it, folks, there's a ton of lake trout fishing that goes on up here around the Apostle Islands, but it's all trolling. So we're doing something unique that you've figured out the past couple of summers, and this is actually jigging for lake trout. Yeah, we're actually gonna be jigging out here. We're gonna fish spots that have a lot of fish on them. That guy's usually trolling, we're gonna jig them. That's awesome. Hey folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Hey Blake, hand me the lure locker. That is really cool, isn't it? It sure is. This is a great way to keep your baits organized. This is made of a real durable ABS plastic, and it's really easy. You just grab the tackle box you want. I want the crankbaits right now. And with the Tack Logic technology, all your baits stay in place. But this is a great system to put in the boat and in your garage. Absolutely. For more information, go to LureLock.com. Folks, with all the rain we've had this summer, what does that mean, Jack? There's lots of black flies, mosquitoes, and lots of ticks. So what do we do? We use Coleman insect repellent. And the reason, Henry, that we use Coleman insect repellent is they have a formula for everyone in the family. For the littler kids like Jack and Christina, I like the Skin Smart Deet Free. And I just put a little bit of that on them in the morning and that gives them eight hours of protection. Right, Jack? Yeah. Okay, Henry, for you and I, we're a little bit bigger, so we use the insect repellent that is called? The Sportsman Formula. Sportsman Formula. It has 40% deet in it. I put it like on you and I on your legs like that, buddy. And what does that do? Um, that protects us from the bugs. For eight hours. Mm -hmm. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Hey, welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, we're doing a pretty unique experiment today. Most guys troll up here for lake trout in Lake Superior around the Apostle Islands. We're jigging for them. And two baits that I that we really like are the one ounce Castmaster. When you're fishing 150 feet down, you need a heavy bait. You do, you gotta get down there because there is a lot of current out here also. And what do you got on yours here? I got the Kalen's S jig with a big eight inch grub. Boy, that looks good. Lake trout would love that. Oh huh? yeah, they do. A couple of things too, folks, when you're jigging this deep, you gotta have a super line. And uh, 
first of all, you put a leader material on here, yep. and uh, this is Seaguar uh, fluorocarbon, and, and that'll give you a little bit of a cushion when you set the hook. Yep, that'll give you a cushion when you set, and you want that clear line. Even down this deep, you know, they can still see lines, so you want it. Uh, you want that line invisible down there. And you got to use the power line, folks. And my yes. preference is uh, the Seaguar Smackdown, 20 pound test, very very small diameter, so it'll go down fast. But you really couldn't feel a bite if you weren't using a super line, could no, you? No, you need a super line. It's nice too. That low diameter cuts the current. If you have thick line down there, your the bait will go way off to the side. Should mention too that we got our buddies with us today. We got Pete Mayna, we got Wes Paul from Johnson Pump, and we got the Amsoil boys. So yep. we'll we'll catch fish. Oh yeah, we'll catch fish. And Blake will be the first. I think so. Hey, hey, here we go, Josh. All right, John, we got one. We got to tell the folks we've actually missed three or four, haven't we? Yeah, we've actually had some bites, and this one uh, this one came up and smoked. It. Oh, look at look your that rod. rod. It, that rod is so loaded up, folks. Look at that. All right. Does it feel like a good one? It does. A lot of weight. Okay. Everybody should reel in, right? Or no? Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at, see, there's one chasing them on the graph. There's oh, another yeah. one with them. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> yeah. It's like musky fishing I almost, know. you know? Look at that. Big head shake. Jeez. Well, we turned the camera off for a minute there, and then when that thing just ran on you. Yep. It's a nice one. Folks, that is a giant. What's crucial here, Josh? Just same thing as a muskie. We just want to get them head first and keep that net in the water. Okay, here, here we go. go. Here, here we go. go. We got All right. him. All right, Josh. There we go. That is nice. so awesome, buddy. Cool. What a difference that is, folks, catching a lake trout like that jigging compared oh, to trolling. So much more fun. What's that? The hit is cool, isn't it? It is. He smoked it. Oh, that is beautiful. What's that, about a 10-pounder? Yeah, I'd say about 10-pounder. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful lake trout. Wow. Isn't that something? Oh, that that is, is unreal. Now, now, Josh, these are good eating, this kind, right? Yeah, this kind's good eating. Um, you know, that one's a little big to keep, but uh, yeah, you get a smaller one like this, it'd be good eating. Well, what do you think, Blake? I want to catch one. <laughs> well, it's a lot of work when you get them on, but what a cool deal. And so few people do this on Lake Superior, yeah, James? Well, in Lake Superior, in some areas they do, but you don't see it a whole lot out here. Most most everyone is trolling. We're just releasing that other one of my buddy, Wes Paul. All right, man, how was the hit? Good. Yeah. And is he still on there? Oh, yeah. This might be an eater size, Josh. We'll see here. Ooh, th I bet you this is an eater size, Josh. Oh, look at yep, that. That is an eater. That is a perfect eater size lake trout. Yep. Wes, I'll tell you what, you've had uh, three bites and you got that one in, and man, how fun is that, that when they awesome. hit? That was awesome. It was awesome on the down, and then all of a sudden you pull, and there's tension, and it was awesome. Are you interested in eating a lake trout? Because that is the deal right that there. That is a good eater. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat them. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, they're great on the grill. They're great smoked. And uh, there's actually two different kinds of lake trout. Ones you call fats. Yeah, the fats and then the leans. You know, the fats aren't the best, but. How do you tell the difference? Uh, usually the fats have the big stub nose on them. And throw those, they're not good to eat. No, they're not. Good. Yeah, but this is delicious, Wes. Right? Yes. I'm excited about it. It was fun. Hey, Josh, it is kind of interesting how we're fishing, buddy. You keep the Minn Kota in spot lock, but you want to make real pronounced moves with your rods, whether you're using a Castmaster or plastic, huh? Yeah, you definitely want to do, you know, with the Castmaster, you just want to give it a pull up like that and then let that bait just flutter down and they're going to hit it on that flutter down. And then with the jerk minnows, what you want to do is just give it a give it a hard rip like that. You know, that'll dart off to the side and then let it fall and then rip it up again. And they almost always hit on the fall, so when you're pulling up sometimes, it feels like you got the bottom. Oh, yeah, you, you think you're snagged. And a lot of times, especially if you hook a fish, you know, over 10 pounds, they don't budge. Hey, there we go. Sammy Peterson's got one on Sambo with his Amsoil <laughs> outfit in the Amsoil <laughs> boat. Hey, Pete, Nicely does done. it look pretty decent, buddy? Have you seen them? Well, I haven't seen them yet. I think there I see some. Oh, here we go. Sambo. That's a oh. Nice Oh, Pete, that looks like a dandy, yeah, doesn't it? That's a nice fish. That is Ooh, cool. Oh, from underneath the boat. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, is cool. <laughs> hey, Sam, nice, nice job there, buddy. Way to go. Thanks. Hey, Pete, this is an interesting deal, isn't it? Yeah, it really <laughs> is. Really oh, I mean, so many guys come here and troll. This jigging deal is so much more fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. I mean, you catch them trolling, that's fun, but uh, to, to see the fight, 
you know, all the way up the way this one fought him. Hey, oh, that's a good one. We we still got to get a picture. We got to get better get a picture of Sammy's. Well, and you got one on. Oh, oh, Wes. That's a big fish. Wes, what do you think, buddy? That's awesome. Yeah. That is a big fish, buddy. This is amazing, oh, folks. We still what? haven't shown you the picture that's of Sam's fish. fish. And old oh. Wes, hey, you're doing a good job there, buddy. Uh, loosen loosen oh, that drag look at, a little bit. Look at him. Just stay down there, Josh. That's a big oh, fish. We, look at this, folks. He can't even turn that's a that. Big fish. You, look at that. He's taking line on you. What do you think, Josh? That's a good one, John. That's a hey, well. Holy it, man. We're gonna have to turn the camera off for a second and get a picture of this other fish. You just keep working, all, all right? Yeah, that's gonna be a long time over there. Okay, well we're battling this big fish behind us, and there's Sammy's. Hey Sam, how cool of a fight. That's fun. Isn't yeah. that fun? I've been fishing in a couple of years too. So. Well, hold them out, buddy. <laughs> hold them out nice. That, that's a beautiful lake trout. Now, is that too big to eat, Josh? Oh, that's right on the verge there. That's probably about a 26, 27 incher. Sam, smile, buddy. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay, back quick, here, back here, he's running. Right. He's battling up and down. Should we turn the camera off again and wait another five minutes? <laughs> I might have to. Well, look at this rod, folks. I mean, I'll tell you that. Th this, Josh, what do you think, buddy? Big fish? It's for sure a big fish, John. Okay, we just saw bubbles, so he's within about 15 feet of the surface, okay? All you right. all right? Oh, yeah. Anything you should do here at the end, Josh? Just stone horse him, just nice and easy. Yes. Oh, look at him. Oh, that's look a giant. Oh, my that God. is a giant. Oh, right. my gosh. Way to go. Hey, Wes, wow. come on over here, buddy. That was a workout, wasn't it? That was it? a workout. That was unbelievable. How cool is that? That is the best. Now, you do a lot of Lake Michigan fishing, and you do a lot of trolling. Is this more exciting? Yes, this is hands down. It was unbelievable. Well, you got to hold this monster up. You know that, right? Yes. Yeah. Wes Paul, that is a trophy. Wow. Now, Josh, that is a large fish, that's, right? That's 15 pounds, John, for sure, if not a little bigger. Isn't that gorgeous? How did Wes do? Oh, he did great. He didn't horse them. He fought them good. Good hook set. It was great. Hey, Wes, is that your biggest lake trout jigging? That is <laughs> the biggest lake trout jigging. Hey, that is cool, buddy. No, that's the, and you got the memory on video, too, which is really neat, right? Incredible. In, just incredible. Hold them out once. I mean, that's a beauty, folks. That's a big. Is big. that a fat? Uh, yep, that is a fat. How can you tell again? Just the stub nose on it. Just the, nose the stub there. nose. Those are the ones that are not good to eat. Yep. We were fishing Lake Superior out of Ashland, Wisconsin. A five and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, six and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait features a built-in glass rattle in the head that puts off awesome vibration and noise. Also features a wire keeper that locks on your favorite soft plastic paddle tail. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait, available in four sizes and four colors. I switched to the Evinrude E-Tech G2 three years ago, and I'll tell you what, the raw power in this engine just blows me away. The whole shot, even with a 21-foot fiberglass boat, gets me up on plane just like a jet engine. And even with all that torque and power, I get the best gas mileage in the industry. And listen to this, there's no oil changes, and the E-Tech G2 winterizes itself with the push of a button. There's no scheduled maintenance for the first five years, and Evinrude has the best customer coverage package available. The E-Tech G2 is built right here in Wisconsin. For a dealer near you, go to evinrude.com. As much as we're on the water, my dad has me changing the lower unit oil more than once a year. And every time, it's such a mess. Well, we may actually have the answer for that. Amzo's Marine Gear Lube now comes in this easy pack that'll take that entire mess away. Let me see. All right. Okay, to use this thing, you simply insert the nozzle into the lower unit. We've already have this one drained. Rotate the bag one time. And then go ahead and squeeze the gear lube into the motor. Then once it comes out the vent hole here on the top, it's full. Just like that, I'll go ahead and put the plug back in. Get the other plug in it real quick. Wow, that was simple. All you need is a drain pan, an Allen wrench, and the Amsoil Easy Pack. For more information, go to amsoil.com. Folks, a lot of times we have to fish in really rough water, which causes our tackle boxes to get turned upside down, creating quite the mess. You know, Blake, you really don't have to worry about that with lure lock. With the tack logic system we have, all of the lures stay in place all the time, no matter how rough it gets. When you're ready to fish, they're organized. All you got to do is start casting. Get locked down with the lure lock tackle box. For more information, go to lurelock.com. 
West Ball again. This is how long is this after the last one, Josh? Uh, five minutes. Everybody, I got to reel in because I don't want to get tangled. Yep. Hey, Wes, where yeah. did you learn how to do this, dude? Look at uh, the camera. Look Josh, at the... watching him do it. Well, yeah, you're. Right. Well, you're I'm a. Watching the pro. You're a dude, you're a man. Fire. Wow. I'll tell you what, though, Josh, using that Seaguar 20-pound test line is crucial to feel the bite. It is. You need that to feel it, and, you know, even though you're down deep, you don't want those fish seeing the line. Hey, Wes, turn yeah. to the camera and smile. Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. I just went down and right away. Ooh, that's a beautiful fish. That West Paul is hot today. Is he going to take another run, Josh? No, we're going to get him right now. All right, beautiful, Josh. All right. Hey, how's your, how's your arms doing there, buddy? They're getting a workout. Isn't that something, that how they pull? Unreal. That was hey. so fun. Oh, take a look at that. Look at that, Josh. Nice. Now, how big is that guy? That one's probably about seven, eight pounds. Well, Wes, what do you think there, buddy? That was another fun one. Boy, and can you believe how fast this fishing yeah, is? that is fast. And Josh, what's your best day out here? Uh, my best day out here is 39. 39 lake trout at how many hours? That was in about six hours. Oh my gosh, this is something else, man. And again, is that a fat or is that a good one? That's another fat there, yep. Okay. You see the beak down on there. All right, well, we're not keeping any fish today, no. but that's a good, Wes, I'll tell you what, buddy, I'm proud of you. Thank and you. And you know, here we are in August. Does this last for a while? Yeah, it'll go another month. The season does close for the spawn, but it'll, it'll last another month. And you're guiding for it? I do out here once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at that. We're trying to cook Johnsonville's and Wes is interrupting us. What do you got there? Wes, is that big? Another big one. What's that? Another big one. Well, all right, buddy. Oh, boy, well, you got to battle him, man. You got to battle him. And Josh, we should tell the folks we've actually gone about an hour without a bite, and that's typical, huh? Uh, yeah, that does happen. Okay. Hold on, we just got a little mess here. There we go. Okay, <laughs> good job. Hey, Wes, what made you such a great Laker fisherman? You know what? I think it's just the luck of the draw. No, I think it's skill. It's and gotta be skill. By the time you get this in, our brats better not be burnt. That thing is just peel and drag. It's unreal. Wow. <laughs> it's a big fish. Hey, and, jo and, and Wes, you're, horse you're horse. actually bouncing the bottom with that bait, aren't you? Yes. Yep. Wow. And when you pull up, that's when you feel the weight. And you... Well, that is a giant you got on, buddy. That's a giant. Hey, we turned that camera off for five minutes. What's going on now, Wes? Just Turn. Tell the folks at home what's going on, dude. Everything I gained on him, he took back. <laughs> Josh, how big could this be, buddy? This could be a 20-pounder, John. This thing's fighting hard. Here he comes. Oh, I see him. Oh, I see nice him. Look. Get him, Josh. Get him. Oh, oh my go. gosh. Go. Look at the size of that fish. Nice one. Hey, Wes. Yeah. Are you king of the lake trout or what? I think what? so. Today, today, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a good day. Actually, what you're doing that's different than the rest of us, you're making sure your lure's bouncing on the bottom, huh? Yeah, and just a sweeping motion and about a foot, two feet up, and back down. Boy, that's, you're going to have to hold another one up. That's why we need an extra bilge pump in here, right? Right, right. Make sure we're not sinking with all the weight we're putting on the boat. Oh, wow. Well, oh, look nice at that. One. How big is that one, Josh? That one's probably about 10 pounds, John, maybe a little heavier. And that's a clean one, right? That's a, uh, or is that uh, one of those? No, that's fat another fat, yep. Oh, another fat. Cool. Hey, wow, Wes. That's awesome. So much fun. Take and guess what? We did not burn the Johnsonville's. <laughs> that's perfect. That is a lot of fun. Oh, our buddy Dan Peterson from Amsoil is reeling when we're trying to cook Johnsonville's over here, you guys. Stop catching fish for a few minutes. Hey, Pete. Oh, I got to get my Dan. No, Pete, we're trying to cook Johnsonville's. Why did you let him kick catch that right now? I, it's just a timing thing. I don't know. I think he's one of those kinds of guys. I was, I was all set to have one slapped on a bun and all right, Dan. It up, maybe even hey. do a taste test. But feel pretty big, Dan. Does it feel pretty good? It's a decent fish. But it oh, it looks, looks like a big like fish. It. Oh, that oh, looks a like big a big fish. fish, Josh, doesn't it? Nice big oh, fish. Beautiful oh, fish. Yeah. All right. Hey, Dan oh, Peter. Oh, there you go. Hey, hey Dan. Nice one. What do you got to say? I love it. That was a tough First fight. One. First one. Oh, that Dan. Nice fish. That is a beautiful fish, Dan. Yeah, she's fast. Boy, do they bulldog when you get them on, huh? Yeah, that one took out line. Beautiful. Catch up, and then it took line out again, catch up. Hey, Pete, 
This yeah. is a pretty special kind of fishing, isn't it? It really is, and it's, you know, we've said it a few times, but it's so much better than trolling, so much more exciting, and, and uh, they really hit hard, and obviously they fight unbelievably. That was a tremendous fight. That was a fun fight. That's got a big tummy on it, doesn't it? Hold them out. Let me see that tummy, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a rusty fish. <laughs> Finally, you guys are done catching fish because the Johnsonvilles are ready. And today, I'm cooking the Johnsonville Original Brats. Football's coming up, and the Johnsonville Original Brats, the party pack, is perfect for tailgating. All you have to do is put them on the grill, low to medium heat, for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown. Take a bite. I am excited for Johnsonville tailgate season. Yay! Johnsonville Original Party Pack Brats. Get them at your favorite retailer today. My grandpa's got breaking news from Fleet Farm. Yes, Jack, this is a great buy. Attract bigger deer with this Jurassic Rock. Normally $13.99, now just $9.99. Kalen's Google Eye football jig features a built-in glass rattle that creates the deadly combination of sight and sound. Its shockwave rattle system has been designed to call fish in. The lifelike rattle reflects light and adds a dimension like no other. Available in three sizes and three colors. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Blackfish Performance Wear provides the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. With Cool Core chemical free cooling technology, Blackfish gear wicks sweat away from your body so it evaporates quickly, keeping you cool, dry, and comfortable. And without chemical additives, it doesn't lose its cooling properties, even after repeat use and washing. When you need protection and comfort, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. Green Bay tomorrow and the weatherman said it's supposed to be really really rough just to be safe I want to put in a higher capacity Johnson bilge pump dad you don't need all those tools to change a Johnson bilge pump all you need is a higher capacity Johnson cartridge motor it's that simple hey Blake that is really cool I guess I won't need these Johnson cartridge bilge pumps the highest capacity the easiest to maintain and the easiest to install. Johnson Pump, our choice for safety and reliability. Hey, look at that, Wes. We went a couple hours without a bite, buddy, and you came through. Oh, yeah. Does that feel big? Um, not as big as the last one, but not small. Well, hey, what, this is sport. This is big time sport, man. There you go. Don't Still miss awesome. this fish, Wes. All right, all right, way to go there. And let's see. Oh, that's a real perfect eating size fish right there. All right. Good job. Hey, Wes, Woo! we're going to call you the magic lake trout, man. <laughs> what do you think? You must really be Johnson pumped today. I am Johnson pumped, John. Nice. No, that is great, buddy. And you're just bouncing the bottom with that, huh? Yeah, and really using the helix now to to uh, figure out where they are and watch them chase and go them back down. And that is kind of fun watching them on the locator, isn't it? It is. It is a lot of fun. Now that is a perfect eating size lake trout, isn't it, Josh? Yeah, that's a good eater there. You know, that's in that low 20 inch range. And it, if you come up and you want to keep one or two, what's the what's the rules here? You can have two over 15, but only one of which can be over 25 inches. Oh, okay, cool. So if you get a trophy and you want to keep it, you can. Yep. Hey, Wes, what yeah. makes you the magic man, dude? Seriously. <laughs> I don't know. Just putting in the time. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2019 Fishing Contest. Mark Klimstra of Elk River caught this 45-inch northern on Minnewaka on a quarter-ounce gold blade. Lynn Dembeck of Heartland caught this 49-and-a-half-inch muskie on Lake of the Woods on a jake. 
Brian Sokolik of Helenville boated this 23-inch largemouth on Lower Spring Lake on a jig and pig. And Maria Verkayan of Kukana caught this 31-inch walleye on the Bay of Green Bay on a crawler harness. And this week's kids winners are Rachel Simrad of Poinette caught this 30-inch walleye on Lake Wisconsin on a rappella. And Drew Maley of Clinton caught this 42-inch muskie on the Chippewa flowage on a bass jig. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. 15% off all clam Jason Mitchell rods starting at $59.49. And 15% off all soft tackle bags starting at $16.99. Hey, you guys, we just got one, too. I need not, I need not tell you it was Wes that oh, caught hey, our fish. Hey, 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 here we go. He's in there. He, you just found, he just found out he was hooked, huh, yeah, Dan? Just, yeah. Hey, you know, kind of interesting, Pete, when a couple hours there, fishless, it gets a little later in the day, they seem to be more active. Would you agree? Yeah, we were actually seeing a lot. Oh, there he is, there he is. Good job there, right. Danny Peterson. Yeah. You know, uh, I've been wondering, Pete, if uh, I don't have hooks on my lures. I haven't caught one all day. <laughs> now, I know that you and I have ice fish for lake trout before, but, but jigging them is a special deal, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's fun. It's fun. They, they hit hard, and uh, when they figure out they're, they're hooked, then they fight hard, too. Hey, look at this. Two in a row. Two in a row for you guys. <laughs> yeah. The bite is on. Old Sambo there. Look at him go, man. Oh, you see it. <laughs> well done, buddy. You can oh, see yeah, him already. Here he is. There Another is. good eater? Oh, yeah. Another oh, good oh, eater? Oh, oh no. Easy. There's that's a, a nice beautiful fish. lake trout. Oh, and you can see, folks, how clear that water is, too, in Lake yeah, Superior. It is beautiful. I'll that's tell you what, on. Pete, our guests are much better <laughs> anglers than you and I. Yes. <laughs> yes, and they are. Too. And Blake, Blake just said <laughs> me, too. Oh. Look at that. That is a beauty. Now, how big is that, Josh? That's probably about a five-pounder. Boy, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what. Our guests are red hot, as I said yeah. before. <laughs> and, and, oh, oh. Can let him go unless Pete needs a picture back there. But no, that is awesome. There's hey Dan, I think I got a picture. Dan, of you got to be proud of your son today, buddy. Yeah, nice fish. Good Hold job. Yeah. All of a sudden, he likes fishing now. He yeah. likes fishing now. I don't blame him. Josh Tigan guides Guamagon Bay on a year-round basis. For more information, give Josh a call. That phone number is 715-813-0575. Oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From whitetail to waterfowl, Fleet Farm is your hunting headquarters. Whether it's buck fever season, mornings in the marsh season, or even make this shot count season, there's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. Fishing man is everything tough yet. Dee, 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 dee.